So given the terrible circumstances we live in, should India declare itself a VVIP state? Maybe that will be a more practical option. TSR Subramaniam, former cabinet secretary, is with us tonight. Neelam Katara, Nitish Katara's mother, has been fighting a lonely battle for justice against all kinds of legitimate and illegitimate VVIPs. Sankarshan Thakur, roving editor of The Telegraph, Kamini Jaiswal, one of the topmost lawyers in the Supreme Court. My first question is to MN Singh, former commissioner of police of Mumbai, sir. What is going on? You know, you let me pick up the last story. Uh, Mumbai, ex, till one week back, an ex-Congress chief of Mumbai has gone missing. Chief Minister smiles, he won't do anything, FIR is filed, you can't find him, house is locked. And apparently he is taking many business class trips between Delhi and Mumbai, trying to save himself. Why is the police giving a VVIP such an opportunity it would never give an Ahmadmi? What is going on? Is this collusion? The worst form of collusion that we can see and expect? Uh, well, Arnab, I think it will be very hasty to draw such a conclusion. The case has been registered just about two days ago. Why has he not been arrested? Just a minute. In an economic <coughs> offence, arrest is not the first step of investigation. And arrest, if evidence <coughs> is there, will certainly follow. The evidence Kripa is Shankar, all there. Kripa, let me let me put it in perspective, Arnab. <coughs> Kripa Shankar may be trying and will will certainly try to get out of the clutches of the law. No, but, but he, why are the but police helping him? But no, I think <coughs> I think you can't make the charge that the police are helping. Police have just begun the process. The of police began the case only because the High Court directed the police to file an FIR against yes, him. Yes, the, the High Court told him attach the properties of this man. Because prior to that, there was no case before the police. There was no complaint before so the now, police. No, now, was, the case which so has now, been now, registered is a is the result of the PIL filed before the High yeah, Court, so, and the High Court has directed. So the now you file an FIR. Why don't you arrest him? Yeah. Why don't you take? Why don't? Why as do you? I, why, I, why do you? Say, said, isn't it terrible to say? I'm sorry, but I think the man has gone missing. I, I mean, which which average citizen will accept? No, he that cannot, this man has suddenly he, gone missing. He cannot run away from the clutches of the law. His wife, he his son are answer. also a co-accused. They've all gone missing. It's a fact. They may have been missing today, but they will be traced without any after problem. After they file their case, after they are allowed to consult, after they file a petition I, in the Supreme I, Court, I, after they I, try I, and get away. As I said <coughs> in the beginning, that arrest in an economic offence is not the first step of investigation. I, I arrest know. will certainly follow. No, I, as I see, I don't see the possibility I'm, of Kripa Shankar Singh or I'm, anybody of his family no, I'm connecting running the dots. away from the clutches of law. The process has just <coughs> begun. Let us not lose our no, patience. As, as of now, he is he's completely running away from the law. Let's take case number two, Lalu Prasad. Sankarshan, what happened? The law was supposed to be equal for everyone. If you were an accused in the fodder scam, would we wait 17 years for the charge sheet to be filed against you? No, Arnab, you know, there are two, two things here. Uh, in our country, uh, I think the scales of the law get <coughs> skewed by the mere fact that someone is able to buy uh, much better uh, legal assistance than the other person. So the moment you are in a position and have the resources to buy uh, legal services <coughs> at the top, you have already tilted the scales of the law, um, if not in your favour, then against uh, um, a, a person with lesser resources. Two, uh, I don't think it's, it's a no-brainer that, that politicians in this country or people of, who can wield influence of all sorts have been able to, uh, you know, leverage the law. No, I but mean, it's a, that's a, I know that. Lalu no, Yadav, why should we accept it? In the case of Lalu Yadav. Why should we accept it? It's it's a blot on our nation. That this is not. the way things happen. I am not saying, you know, you know, I am, you know, of course it is not un, not acceptable. It should not be acceptable. But the point is, it happens. No, Mr. Lalu <coughs> Yadav uh, had to, had to give up chief ministership. He he, you know, sort of launches a tie up with the Congress Party, becomes a minister at the centre. Now, when he is a minister at the centre, uh, you know how, how uh, governments at the centre can I don't know. sort of slow down investigation. Of course you know. Of course we know. We can't live in denial of this. They can slow down investigations. They, they, can, they, they can sort of, you know, manipulate things in a way that inquiries can be, you know, put in deep freeze for years and years and years. You and can do. I will not be surprised <coughs> yeah, if but this, this country happen. is changing. This country of is course changing. I'm outraged at this. this country is changing, and this country today is asking. And let me ask you: What do you think, Neelam Katara, when you see the story of the 66-year-old man? This man was feeling unwell. He wanted some water. The car was stopped. His son went to a policeman and said, "Can you help me get some water?" The policeman fought with him. He pushed the 66-year-old man. The man had a heart attack, and he died. 
right i mean what is Absolutely. till till, till this, nothing was done neelam katara till till the media speak, even till now i don't know what the delhi police commissioner is doing either is blind or is deaf to his own force no i i i mean uh, where do i begin but this is we are seeing this in incident after incident and we the citizens of delhi are paying the price for living in the capital city and and i might just like to say that the chief minister delhi cannot do anything about this because the commissioner of police delhi is appointed by and reports directly to the government of india home ministry i mean the least i would expect is that the commissioner should go and could have gone and visited the family we want a commissioner of police in delhi where at least his heart and his mind in the right place just transferring or suspending uh, junior officials whether it was the earlier case we saw of lawlessness in the hotel uh, or uh, whatever lathi charges or people being given vip treatment in the jail all that happens is someone low down is transferred and transfer is not a punishment so i think the commissioner of police needs to come out take responsibility and even offer to resign so no, that a strong message goes down no There's no, no, no he, he no he will not he will not no he will only he, he will only feature when he has to take the credit for uh, some no, reforms so or some new police stations which have been set up so therefore and definitely vip security is an important aspect being handled by the delhi police and sure enough i mean we are not arguing with that but maybe we could have two commissioners of police one for uh, you know yeah. the security duties the yeah, vip security <coughs> and one for law and actually, order actually we, uh, the people of the city feel absolutely helpless Yeah, maybe and before they can finish reacting to one uh, incident, no, no, but maybe one maybe it's better. Place. Maybe it's better to have two commissioners, one commissioner for the Aam Aadmi and one commissioner for the VVIPs. That the way things are going. Let's pick up the case of okay. Mamta Banerjee. Kamini Jaiswal, my question to you is this: I mean, it's getting, it's, it's getting the whole system is divisions between categories of people are now. No, but the that's exactly what's happening, Sarkar. It is the culture that has to be changed. The, the, the culture is represented culture by what happened changing. in Kolkata. the culture what what's happening in kolkata that needs changing what happened in kolkata the police was so scared it didn't ask for the police custody of a man who slapped a policeman kamini jaiswal what i mean what does defensible. that represent like everywhere else it's say indefensible I, indefensible what it represents is the this. complete control of a political class over the police and that is why that is the reason that there are no police reforms because they want to keep control when Uh, when lalu yadav is a minister the cbi they will use the few mps he has to keep the control, uh, government in power cbi is used and is the most used tool of the government it's so shameful that we call it the premier investigating agency and today in each and every case concerning a politician this is what is happening they will keep that uh, rope hanging and they will use it whenever they want to get votes from one party or the other then they will uh, show them this uh, chart sheet that is hanging against that policy it's shameful how they are doing it and they will just not want to lo lose control over the C over the cbi or the police because then how will they control their political herd i mean everything is a game of power no, i i Who i cares I, about the common man no but that's <clears throat> you know i i, I don't want to one, one thing is to blame the politician for everything on the other hand it is mr subramaniam that there is a very pliant police force and there is a very pliant bureaucracy there is a very pliant police force and there is a very very pliant bureaucracy that allows this vvip culture to entrench itself so the so the so the bureaucracy says that you are the bourgeois i am the petty bourgeois and then you have the aam aadmi as long as you let me be the petty bourgeois i let you be the bourgeois and have this system which is completely unequal and unjust do you agree mr subramaniam i think i agree entirely um, arnab i also agree with your first statement should there be a campaign but let me come back to the uh, broad picture uh, it is thanks to the media these issues have come out these three stories you put out plus the calcutta story about the uh, about the nephew of the chief minister these happen hundreds of times every day yes they happen in every district in every village in every state state capital and of course in delhi yes we are only seeing not only the tip of the only one bit of the iceberg there has to be a campaign yes i think kamini jaiswal and you have put the finger on the problem that it is the absolute control of the machinery bureaucratic machinery and the police machinery their entire career depends on the whims of the elected leader there are no checks and balances in the system one adverse entry one inquiry will ruin the career ruin you, yeah. it is the total control of the system which is why let me add one more dimension now 
uh, I would like to know which uh, which airport director allowed, say, Robert Vadra. There are 25 names entitled to use the VVIP room, all designation, president, uh, prime minister, senators, one, two, three, four, five, then one name. In fact, a friend of mine, a foreigner who was with me, he said, who is this man? Is he a Nobel Prize winner? Is he, uh, is he a Bharat Ratna? I said, no, I don't know him. I, I, no, the, the point is that that airport director, uh, IAAI authority, who, he should be charge sheeted. That police commissioner in Calcutta, who allowed the chief minister to come and dominate in the police station, yes. under the CRPC, the senior most police officer, senior most magistrate is responsible, he, only he or she can give orders. Chief minister has neither powers. I would like to get that police commissioner charge sheeted for total dereliction of duty. So all over the place we are seeing this particular syndrome. I think it needs to be addressed. One more small point. Once in Uttarakhand, I saw a chief minister's convoy, 38 cars I counted. The entire hill route was blocked for a year. Yatra route was blocked for, a, for one hour. Now, there is a tremendous VVIP culture here. Thanks to this all surfacing, thanks to the media, I think it needs to be a campaign. So also, one last point. This has is the strongest argument why we should not have small states. We cannot have chief ministers manning every trench, no, no, but has it, firing every Have country. we not made it a campaign? We have to allow the system to work. No, has it not, is it not a campaign? Function. Not is the it, political is, no one said it, sir. Only concern is how to get votes, how to support. Sir, my, 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 my point. You, 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 you have raised important issues now. These need to be pursued.